Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be solving this interesting and challenging differential equation. The question is, solve for y is equal to y x, then we have y of x to the power of y prime of x is equal to e to the power of y of x, then we have two more conditions. y of zero is equal to i, and y prime of zero is equal to negative two over three pi. So for this question, we are working on simply y to the power of y prime, is now equal to e to the power of just the y. So from this, we can talk about the basic setup, right? So we can talk about the basic setup, and that is going to be your y has to be now equal to um, e to the power of, say, ln y plus 2 pi i n. But then again, we can just switch this ln to just a log for the principal branch, right? So I'll be using this y is just equal to e to the power of log of y uh, plus 2 pi i n. Okay, then your differential equation is now going to be um, parentheses, then we have log of y. Okay, then plus 2 pi i n. And that times y prime is just equal to y, right? Okay, then let's talk about when x is equal to zero. So, so when x is equal to zero, and then we have a condition, y of zero is equal to just the i. So that's why we will have now the log of the y is going to be equal to uh, pi over two times i. Okay, then the equation will become now uh, parentheses Okay, then we have pi over 2i, right? And then plus 2 pi i n. Multiply this with your second condition, y prime 0 is equal to negative 2 over 3 pi. So multiply this with negative 2 over 3 pi. That is going to be equal to i. Okay, then if you solve for this, right? Okay, then if you solve for this, then it has to be now negative 1 uh, minus 4n. Okay, that is equal to 3. So, this satisfied when n is equal to negative 1. Okay, then based on this, our ODE will now become... Okay, using all this result, then we have log of y. Okay, log of y, n minus 2 pi i n parenthesis. And then multiply this with dy over y. This is just going to be equal to dx. Okay. So that's why finally your equation should be now. Okay, then based on all of this, we will have now log of y square over 2. Okay. And then minus 2 pi i times now the log of y. Okay, that is going to be equal to just x plus some constant c. Okay, then let's get the value of your constant term c by using this condition. When x is equal to 0, y of 0 is equal to i, and then log of y is pi over 2i, right? So let's plug it in. So if you plug it in, then we will have now pi over 2i now square, and then over 2, minus 2 pi i times pi over 2i. Okay, that is just going to be equal to 0 plus c, that is c. So that's why if you calculate this, then your c has to be now equal to uh, pi square minus pi square over 8, which is just going to be 7 over 8 pi square. Okay, so 7 over 8 pi square has to be the value of this constant term c, right? Then let's go back to this equation and solve for log of y. So if you multiply 2 on the left and right hand side, then we will have now log of y now square. And then negative 4 pi i times log of y. 
Okay, then since we are multiplying two on the right-hand side too, and then move all the terms from the right to the left-hand side. So that's why we should have negative two parentheses x plus c. That is equal to zero. Since we are solving for log of y, right? Quadratic formula. So your log y, okay, that is equal to negative of negative 4 pi i, that is positive 4 pi i, plus minus square root of, okay, so b squared, that is 4 pi i now square. And then minus 4 times a, that is equal to 1. And then your constant term is negative 2 times x plus c. Now over 2. Okay, then let me simplify the log of y a little bit, right? Then your log of y is going to be equal to now still 4 pi i plus minus square root of. Okay, then we have 4 pi i square. And then now plus a times x plus c. Okay, over 2. So that's why now this has to be just equal to 2 pi i plus minus, and then it has to be square root of now negative 4 pi square, and then plus uh, 2 times x plus c. Okay, so that's why now we can talk about your y, right? So your y has to be now e to the power of this everything, 2 pi i plus minus square root of negative 4 pi square plus 2x plus c. Okay. But then again, this has to be the same as just e to the power of plus minus square root of everything that is inside. Okay, now we have plus and minus signs. So all we need to do is determine the sign of it, right? So since we already got the value of the c, that is 7 over 8 pi square. Now we can plug this value into the c when x is equal to 0. Then your y is now equal to e to the power of plus minus square root of negative 4 pi square. And then plus, now 2 times 7 over 8 pi square, that is 14 over 8 pi square. So, if you simplify this a little bit, then your y is now then equal to e to the power of plus minus square root of negative 4 pi square plus now 7 over 4 pi square. Okay, so now if you calculate this, then it has to be e to the power of plus minus. Okay, then we have pi over 2i, and then times square root of 9, which is equal to 3. So that's why now your y is going to be e to the power of, okay, plus minus 3 pi over 2 times i. Okay, so let's talk about the value of it. First of all, e to the power of 3 pi over 2i. That is now equal to 1 over i. And then again, e to the power of negative 3 pi over 2i. That is just equal to i, which is equal to y of 0. So that's why we need the negative sign. Okay, so based on this, let's talk about the final answer for this question. Okay, then the final answer has to be now y is equal to Okay, e to the power of, now negative, negative, square root of, now negative 4, pi square, now plus, 2 times x plus, now 7 over 8, pi square. So that's why if you calculate this, then your y has to be equal. Now negative 9 over 4, now pi square. And then plus 2x. Okay. This has to be the final answer for this question. 
Okay, so pretty challenging differential equations. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.